Hey guys, it's Toy here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys my April Player of the Month investment guide, covering all of the different players that I think are most likely to win the award, as well as obviously all the investments that I'd recommend you guys picking up to go and make a ton of coins in the future. Now, Player of the Month should be announced around about the 9th of May on a Friday. That's when it's normally announced on the 9th of each month on a Friday, so it should be announced in around one and a half weeks. And there are three main nominees that definitely stand out, so I'm going to be covering investments for all of those different players, as well as general investments from the Premier League. So you guys should be able to make a lot of coins in the future or you can actually complete the SBC. It's a little bit cheaper as you may be able to go and get some of these guys uh, when they're a little bit cheaper right now. But I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the video. Leave a like if you do want to see one of these videos next month and uh, I will be sure to get that out for you. Leave a comment down below on which player you think is mo most likely to win the award. And without further ado, let's go on into the video. So to start off, I'm going to be showing you guys my April Player of the Month predictions. So the players I think are most likely to win the award and then I'll be showing you guys my investments in just a minute. So we're going to start off right here with the standout favourite and that is Hong Min Son and that is for a very very good reason he has managed to score five goals and get one assist in four games for any player that is very very good but for a winger that is even better and he'll actually be the first player to get two player of the month cards on ultimate team and I think he definitely is the favorite it is going to come down to the final game because I believe all of these players have at least one more game to play in the month so it's going to come down to that final game as there's not too much separating them but at the moment Son definitely is the favorite and that card would be ridiculous he's likely to have over 90 for four stats five star week but obviously the four star skills he's been boosted up to now and I think he definitely is the favorite next up we've got Felipe Coutinho another winger and he has had a very good month four goals and one assist in four games and I know a lot of Liverpool fans would love to see this card released on ultimate team and those stats would be very very good and he has had a great month he scored some really good goals as well he did score a great free kick against Crystal Palace although they did actually lose to Crystal Palace and I think that's quite a key point Tottenham have had a very very good month and they're potentially going to win the league I mean it looks like they're catching up with Chelsea now you never know what's going to happen in the final few games of the season but Liverpool have been a lot worse they lost to Crystal Palace they've just not been as consistent as Tottenham so I think that could come into it but it's going to come down to that final game as I said next up we've got Sergio Aguero as the final player and he's got four goals no assists in four games and he has scored a lot of goals recently I think he scored in his last six games now for City in all competitions and I believe he actually has two games because Man United against Man City, the derby, that's going to be on Thursday. It was postponed from earlier in the season when United were playing in the League Cup final. So I believe he actually has two games to play. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. He may have two games to play in this month to go. So that means he'll have actually played one more game than the other players here, meaning he's got more chances to score goals. And with the form he's currently on, I could definitely see him getting at least one or two goals against United. So you never know. If he gets maybe six, seven goals, I'd say, this month, then I think he's definitely going to be the favourite. But it's going to come down to those last few games. But as a striker who's definitely on form, he stands a good chance of getting a few goals. So I think if Aguero gets two or three more goals this month than the one or two games he's got to go, I think he's going to become the favourite, but right now it is Hung Min Son, but I'm going to be covering investments for all of these different players and the whole league in general as well. So I would recommend you going and getting a variety of different players to cover different options, because you never really know who's going to win the award. It's quite hard to tell, because it does go down to both a public vote and also a vote from a whole board of different ex-professional players. And also I would recommend you just holding off maybe a couple of days, just because right now we've got the team of the tournament cards for the Champions League, and we've got SBCs, and that means that any players from around 80 to 85 rated are quite inflated, especially 81s, 82s and 80 rated players. And I think that expires in three days, so maybe even in about three or four days you guys can go and get your investments then. But for some of the higher rated cards, you're not really going to have to wait too long. Also, in forms, I would recommend waiting until any of the team of the tournament SBCs have finished because currently they are a lot more expensive. But uh, once all those SBCs are over, perfect time to go and get some investments and you should be able to make some very, very good profits. So, on the subject of investments, let's head over to the first screen and I'm going to show you guys my Player of the Month, Son, investments. So, as I said, Son is definitely the favourite right now, having scored five goals and got one assist in four games. So, each of the player I will be covering first. And with all these investments, I'm going to cover a lot of different options, a lot of different routes, because you never really know what EA are going to do. We've had a lot of different random SBC requirements in the past, and I think for any one of these players, we may need a particular inform card, maybe of that player or from that club. So, for example, you may need an inform son or just a random special card of son, so you may need to use his last player of the month card, for example, or you could use one of his informs or man of the match cards. If Aguero wins, you may need to uh, exchange the regular gold Aguero. If Coutinho wins, you may have to exchange Coutinho. You may have to exchange maybe a Brazilian inform from Liverpool, so that would be Firmino. 
So we could have some pretty random requirements like that, although those are very expensive cards and I wouldn't really recommend you going and investing in them just because their prices are very, very inflated and you can get more kind of cheaper cards that will make you more profit overall than just going and getting one or two very expensive players and also it's a lot less risky. So I'm going to be covering a lot of different options, mainly different teams that these guys have scored against or played for in their careers. So played for in their careers and scored against in this month, if that makes sense. So we're going to start off with Son. As you guys can see right here, he's played against Watford, Bournemouth, Burnley and uh, also Swansea this month and he scored against all of them so you do want to go and get I'd say two or three of the highest rated players that are quite cheap from these teams obviously if it's a team like Chelsea you don't want to go and get Hazard but you can go and get maybe Aspel, Aquetra and Matic those quite high rated but not too expensive players so they're always good ones to go and get because you never know, EA have done a lot of SBCs in the past for player of the month, which need different players for either teams that people have played against or played for. So, as you guys can see, we've got all those different options there. You can go and get a few informs from these teams if you want as well. Get any cheaper informs. Boric is probably the best one you can get here. Although his price is quite inflated right now, just because he is needed for some of the SBCs that are out right now. Also, I would recommend going and getting just a couple of the higher rated players who are relatively cheap from the teams that these players play for. So, obviously, right now, some players for Tottenham, so you can go and get people like Vertonghen, Ericsson, Ali, people like that. And it will cover a few different options there. Just get some of the 84s, 83s and 85s and you should be good. And also he has played for two other teams in the past. And those are Hamburg and also by Leverkusen. So again, go and get some of the higher rated, cheaper players from there. So you've got people like Leno, Toprang and Bellarabi. And then for Hamburg right here, you've got some more players. You've got Adler, you've got Kostic. And you also have Inform Hunt and Inform Muller as well. He's got a couple of Informs there. Uh, although, as I said, I would recommend just holding off. Uh, just a couple of days before buying these just so the market can settle down and these cards can get a bit cheaper But those are my player of the month on investments You can also get people like inform Trippier uh, maybe a couple of informs from teams like that Especially from Tottenham if you want you could maybe go and get a few uh, from uh, Hamburg They've got a few cheaper informs and then if you see anyone uh, from any of these teams involved here You can go and get them so maybe Boris if you see them cheaply if you have them in, the, in your club They're good but I wouldn't recommend going and spending too many coins on inform cards. I would recommend, though, just going and getting a couple of higher rated players from all the different teams that he's played against this month and for some of the different teams he's played for in his career. Next up, we've got Coutinho. We're going to be doing exactly the same, covering all the different teams that he's played against and scored against this month and the different teams he's played for in his career. So as you guys can see right here, he's played against Everton, West Brom, Bournemouth again. So you're covering two different options there. And also he's played against Stoke. So again, go and get just some of the higher rated players from each of these teams, two or three of the highest rated ones that are quite cheap should be good so I've gone with Bojan and Anatovic here from Stoke I've gone with Jakob and Foster right here from West Brom and then we've got Lukaku and Williams and also I would recommend you guys going and getting a few players from Liverpool as that's obviously the team he plays for and you can get people like Matip, Lalana and Firmino cheap 83 rated players and you should be good there and in the past he has played mainly for Inter Milan although he did actually go on loan for a short phase um, at Espanyol so you can go and get people like Handanovic, Icardi, Benega, you've got people like Perisic as well, Medel. Uh, Jal Mario, you've got lots of 83s and 84s from Inter Milan, and then you can go and get people like Lopez, you can go and get Roberto, Inform Piatti, there's a lot of Informs, there's Inform Jose Reyes, uh, just a, a lot of cheap Informs who play for Espanyol, so you can maybe go and get a few of them. Uh, but yeah, that is the Coutinho different investment set. Again, you can go and get some cheap informs from any of these teams as well. You've got Boric from Bournemouth right here. You've got people like Inform Shawcross. He's a really good one. We do also have the option of potentially having a national team for some of these players. So for example, Coutinho, you may need a full Brazil team. So it's always good to go and get a couple of players, maybe like Thiago Silva. He's a very high rated Brazilian who's quite cheap. We'll just get some higher rated cards from those different nations. I think with uh, Son, it's very unlikely as it would be a cheap team. We already saw that with the first player of the month, Son, you just needed a Korean team. So I doubt we'd have it for like a 90 rated son but maybe you may need an 85 86 rated brazil team for example for coutinho so it's always an option to cover i wouldn't recommend spending too many coins on it but just try and get some 84s and 85s from brazil and you can get a couple from argentina as well to cover aguero uh, but those are the investments i've gone and picked up and i think i should be able to make some good coins on them you can sell into the hype before any sbcs come out as you never know who's going to win the award or you can risk it keep the cards and uh, they will go up a lot more in price if they are included in sbc however if they aren't, they will drop down in price. The final player who I think is likely to win the award is obviously Aguero, as I showed you guys just a minute ago. And you want to go and do exactly the same for the previous investments. Now, one thing to note with Aguero is he's played against better teams than the majority of the other players. He's played against Chelsea and Arsenal in his four games this month, and is also going to be playing United. So a lot of big games there, and he's managed to turn up in them and get goals. So that could be quite a big factor. And uh, I think if City do beat United, he gets maybe two goals. 
he could definitely be in the running and I think he would probably become the favourite. But we're going to be doing exactly the same covering different teams he's played for in his career and scored against this month. So Southampton, go and get people like Font and Van Dijk. He should be good there. They've got cheap informs you can go and get as well. People like Tadic. Um, but uh, yeah, if you do want to go and get those guys, feel free. Uh, Chelsea, so you can get people like Fabregas, Costa, Matic, Aspilicueta. You can go and get people like Ramsey, Koscielny, Jacka, uh, Murd Saka, Mustafi for the 83s, Giroud as well. And then people like Cthulhu um, from Arsenal there. And then also he has played against Hull, so I would recommend going and getting maybe Umbakani. You can get Ndai, you can get Markovic right here. And then you do want to go and get a few players from City themselves. So Otamendi, Bravo, Company, um, Silva, you've got some different players there. And in his career, he has also played for Atletico Madrid. So you can go and get people like Oblak, Gaitan, Carrasco, Jimenez, maybe Godin as well. There's some high-rated guys there. And also he did play for Independiente in Argentina. And they actually have an inform. They have Rajoni right here. You can go and get him. And you can go and get some of their cheaper goal cards as well. So a lot of different options there. You never know. EA may do a team where you need maybe an 83 rating or an 84 rating with one or two players from different teams he's played for in his past and maybe a few City players. So you would need some of the higher rated players from teams he has played for in the past to get that rating up to complete the score challenge. And you never really know, there could maybe be a full Argentina team. So it's always good if you can go and get people like Icardi maybe, Benega, they're always good ones. And also they do play for Inter Milan, so they're also going to cover that potential option we could have for Player of the Month, Coutinho. And finally, I've just got some general Player of the Month investments for the Premier League. These are the type of cards I always pick up towards the end of each month as Player of the Month investments. And it's just high rated players in the Premier League that are quite cheap. It's very, very easy. You want to go and get anyone between about 88 and 83 and you should be good. Just try and get the cheaper ones. So you've got people like Pyatt. He's quite cheap, although some of these cards are slightly inflated. I believe that's actually an inform card. So obviously you'd want to go and get to the 86 version of Pyatt, which is this one right here. Um, but a lot of these cards aren't going to cost you more than about 20,000 coins. So I mean, right there you can get Pyatt for probably about 10k or so. Uh, Cthulhu is a good one, Fabregas, so you'll see a lot of these players do actually cover other options, so for example he's a Chelsea player, you need Chelsea players potentially for an Aguero, SBC, Coutinho, I mean that covers a Brazilian option, a full Liverpool team, we may see that, you never know, there could be a really expensive uh, kind of full Liverpool team that needs a really high rating, I mean you need pretty much all of the best Liverpool players, there could be the same City or Tottenham, but I'm not really too sure on that, uh, you can just cover that though as I showed earlier by just going and getting a few of the high rated cheap players from those teams, and uh, yeah, Coutinho is a good one there. You've got Ericsson, uh, Costa is a good one there as well. Mandanda, Alderweireld, he covers the Tottenham route as well. You've got Mares, Gundogan, he also is obviously going to be covering that Manchester City route. Koscielny, Czech. You've got people like Lloris as well. 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s, 87s, and 88s. They're all good investments to go and get. And uh, yeah, just go and get any cheap players. You've got people like Slimani and Giroud as well as the cheap 83s you can get. And uh, I do keep saying this, but just wait for around about four or five days before going and getting your investments, especially those lower rated ones and the inform ones, uh, well, especially the cheaper informs, it doesn't really affect the uh, more expensive higher rated ones too much. Uh, but just to kind of hold off on the investments right now, just because we've got SBCs, the prices are inflated, and you guys will lose out on a lot of coins if you do go and get the majority of your investments right now. But those are just some general investments. There's lots of others. You can get 83s and 84s that aren't really shown here. Um, but uh, yeah, that's something you should definitely do every single player of the month. And then obviously go and cover the different teams and the different players that I've shown you guys just a minute ago. So obviously Aguero, Son, and uh, Coutinho. So there may be another player that comes into the running. You never know. Maybe Mane could score four goals in his next game and he could suddenly get into the running you never know, but I do try and do these videos quite early to give you guys a good opportunity to go and get your investments before their prices go up too much. So it's always good just to kind of cover different options. Go and get your investments now and uh, just wait and see what happens uh, on the weekend. Maybe if Coutinho doesn't play too well, but uh, Aguero and Son both score like two or three goals, then Coutinho is going to go out the running and I wouldn't really recommend getting too many Coutinho investments, but I'd probably wait. Uh, maybe until the Manchester Derby, once the Manchester Derby's happened, that's when you can go and get some of your investments potentially. Um, because by then the SPTs will have finished and we'll also have a better idea if Aguero gets a couple of goals. I think he's definitely going to become the favourite. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also, thanks for 29,000 subscribers. We hit that a couple of days ago, which was awesome. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're on your own here. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. <laughs>